In this video, I'll be demonstrating the various connection methods you can use in the Toad for Oracle database login window, along with some of the other features available in the window. Let's go ahead and launch Toad at this point. In order to make a connection to an Oracle database, Toad requires either a 32-bit or 64-bit Oracle client to be installed. When Toad is first launched, if you see this error, it means that either Toad has not detected an Oracle client installed on the PC at all, or a different bit type Oracle client has been installed. For example, if you have a 64-bit version of Toad, but you've installed a 32-bit Oracle client, similarly, if you've installed a 32-bit Toad, but have a 64-bit client installed, you'll also see this message. To resolve this, you can visit Oracle's website to download the requisite Oracle client. It should be noted that Oracle recommends that the Oracle client version used matches the server version or higher. For the purposes of this demonstration, we assume that a full 64-bit 12C Oracle client has been installed and the necessary Oracle connection files have been placed in the network slash admin folder of the Oracle client, also known as the Oracle Home. You can review the help topic about database connections for more detailed information about the Oracle connection files and how they are used within Toad. When Toad is launched, you'll be presented with a database login window, or you can open the login window from the main Toad menu, session, new connection, or click the new connection button from the toolbar. Assuming the Oracle client has been correctly set up, you should see an entry in the Connect Using dropdown. If an entry exists, but it's in red, click the ellipsis to look at the Oracle Homes window. This gives you additional information from the registry regarding the installed Oracle client. If any item is highlighted in red, click the Advice button for additional information. In this example, the home is valid, so we can go ahead and make a connection. There are three methods of connection within Toad. TNS, Direct, and LDAP. And all three do need the Oracle client in order to make a connection. Let's start with the Direct method first as this requires no additional Oracle files to be available in the Oracle Home. In order to make a connection via the Direct tab, you'll require the server name or host name or IP address where the database resides, the port number, and either the database service name or SID. You'll need to obtain these from your database or network administrator as the support will have no information regarding this. Enter your Oracle username and password, and you can check the Save Passwords box in the bottom left of the window if you'd like to store all your passwords along with the connection details. Note that these passwords are stored locally on your desktop, but they are encrypted. This is all that's required to go ahead and connect using the direct method, but I won't make a connection at this point. Connection via the TNS and LDAP require Oracle configuration files to be located in the Network Admin folder of the Oracle Home. This is an example of the default location for a 12C Oracle client. The TNS names.ora file contains the same information you specified in the Direct tab. The database dropdown should also be populated. These entries correspond to the net service names listed in the tnsnames.ora file. It is possible to make changes to the tnsnames.ora file via the tnsnames editor button, but this is going to be discussed in a future video. Enter the Oracle username. And password. 
select the database you wish to connect to. The Connect As drop-down allows you to connect as normal, sysdba or sysoper. If you log in as sys, Toad will automatically change to connect as sysdba. You can select a color for your database session. For example, you might want to highlight your different types of databases. So you can set your production color to red for all your production database connections, green for stage, yellow for dev, etc. Now let's go ahead and make a connection using the TNS. You'll see that the setting connection color highlights the connection, the function tab, and the status bar at the bottom of the window. I'll go ahead and end this connection. When we bring up the connection window again, you'll see that the connection details have been stored so you won't need to enter them again. If you opted to save passwords, then this will be available too. If your organization is using Oracle Internet Directory, then you should have been supplied with an LDAP.ORA file. This file holds a server location where connection information is stored. In order for the LDAP descriptor dropdown to be populated, Toad needs access to the LDAP.ORA file. In this example, we see that there is a red cross against the LDAP editor. This means that Toad has been unable to locate an LDAP.ORA file. If I go to the admin folder, I see that the LDAP file has been incorrectly named. So I'll go ahead and correct that. I'll close the login window and bring it up again. And you'll now see that the LDAP editor has a green check mark against it. And if we go to the LDAP tab, the LDAP descriptor should now be populated. For any of the connection methods, if Toad encounters a connection error, then a window displays with additional advice on how to troubleshoot further and resolve. Also, at the bottom of the advice window, you can click on this link, which takes you to our support portal knowledge base, where you can search for additional solutions or raise a service request if you need assistance from Toad support.